Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Today, or I should say this evening, me and Paul have our engagement shoot. And I'm very excited about it, simply because of the amount of back and forth and to and from problems we've had. So, we were originally going to do an engagement shoot with a photographer I really liked in Glasgow. We were going to do the shoot at Loch Lomond and then we went in a different direction for our wedding photographer just for budget reasons we managed to find a photographer that did video and photo in one. So then the photographer for the engagement shoot pulled out and then we chose to reschedule and do that with our wedding photographer. Last week we were obviously supposed to be in Scotland and then that fell through because of Covid because we can't go to Scotland. So I managed to find a really lovely photographer here, I really like her work, um, and we're going there at like 8 o'clock for sunset. So today I'm going to attempt to fix what this looks like. <laughs> Did attempt to do my own nails, I'm really not very good at nail polish, as you can probably tell, you know, I need to fix this. Um, but yeah, I'm currently about to try and steam the dress so this is the dress it's very wintry and Christmassy colored because we were originally supposed to do this shoot in November it's so unbelievably wrinkled um, but someone it's so hard to hang up as well because it only has one strap so I've just hung it over the shower like this but someone on my Instagram literally just said if you just put the shower on really warm and fill steam should be fine. So today I'm actually styling my curls instead of doing my natural curls which are kind of just a bit wavy today. I did wash it yesterday but I didn't style it after I washed it. I just kind of let it dry which is why it looks like this. So I use the Diva Curl styling wand and it's literally just this stick that you wrap your hair around. And I do find that it leaves it, it's very easy to do, it doesn't even take that long. Um, but I feel like this leaves my hair looking a bit sleeker and I know it's going to stay in place um, because even if I had styled my natural curls, if it's a bit windy or a bit humid, those curls are just going to go poof. So for me this is a safer bet. that's it all curled I'll leave it it's very very bouncy I'll leave it like this until it's cooled down gonna put some hairspray on it and then in like an hour or so I'll brush it all through and then I have enough time before the shoot for it to drop a little bit and it'll look a little bit more natural okay most of the makeup is done I've made a mistake I have no contact lenses well I have one contact lens do I just wear my glasses there, take them off and do the photoshoot blind? Don't really want to do that either. Ah. Put my lipstick on. Still can't find my contact lenses. Alright, well, I'm just going to have to do this photoshoot blind because I cannot find another contact lens and... Do you want to know what reminded me that I needed to wear contact lenses? These. I have not worn false eyelashes since I was about 18 years old. It's a good 10 years. Decade. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make my eyes pop. I'm gonna wear false lashes, but I'm pretty sure if I put these on, they're gonna touch my glasses and that's gonna be really annoying. So yeah, wish me luck. Cause I don't even know if I remember how to put these on. Okay, so I do remember that you need to leave like, make the glue tacky first. Smells better than it used to. Maybe I just bought better lashes because I'm not a student anymore. Like, I never know how much you should put on. I'm doing this completely wrong. I know I am. This is gonna go badly. Is this enough glue? I don't know. Is this too much glue? Is this enough? I have no idea. The 
fear is real because I managed to do my makeup quite well and I don't I mean I know I have very long eyelashes anyway but typically like for a camera it's not enough <laughs> so oh. Here goes nothing. I know you're supposed to do it with tweezers, but I don't trust myself with tweezers. Ooh, look at you. Did it hurt yourself? No, but the problem is I can't find any contact lenses. So you just take your glasses off then? Yeah, but am I going to... Do these touch my glasses? Oh no, they're actually okay. They're okay. Paul's getting naked now, so I'm going to stop filming. Okay, I got the lashes on. We still have no contact lenses. I feel like they're stabbing me in the corner of my eyes, but this is what we're going with. Hair is now ready. I've kind of fluffed it a little bit and it will drop more in the car. I'm about to try the dress on now to make sure the face matches the dress, but I'm sure it will. One slightly scarier prospect is the dress no longer fitting me. <laughs> Did try it on last week, so unless I've gained, let's not go there. <laughs> well, it fits. You can't really see all of it though. Let me try and move you here. Maybe you can see it better. So, you want to twirl against the cardboard box? Here it is, very low back. I've not zipped it the whole way up because Paul's not up here. But yeah, I do love it. And I think it'll make some nice photos for me and Paul. Very extra. We're in the car. No contact lenses, but the eyelashes are on. It's far too warm for us to wear the outfits we're wearing there in the back. But we are on our way. The weather is good. Are you looking forward to it? Yes. What do you think it's going to be like? It's going to be fun. Yeah? No, I think we're going to create some memories tonight. Oh. Yeah. And some photos to put up on the wall. Got three big photo frames that I want to put in the, the living room and hopefully these are the photos that are going to go in them. Um, but while I am almost too comfortable in front of the camera, Paul gets a little bit giggly sometimes. No. Yes, you do. Are you not facing a camera at me right now? Yes, you are, but it's different when it's someone else pointing it. Remember the photo shoot we did with your mom? You are very giggly. Yeah. No, I don't mean that. Nice. man, though.
So, engagement shoot has been finished and Inga let us see some of the raw footage or some of, oh god, we're under a tunnel, of course wow. we are, of course we are. Uh, she let us see some of the raw pictures on her camera and didn't they look so good? Yeah, they looked very good. Oh, they looked even better than I thought they would. Um, I don't know how we're going to pick three to go on the wall because all of the ones that she, I think she showed us, what, five? Five or six and they're all, all stunning. So, I have no idea how I'm going to pick just three to put up on the wall, but one thing that we did um, get done there was eaten alive by mosquitoes, didn't we? Yes. Yeah, they were everywhere. Mosquitoes! Everywhere. It wasn't so bad at the, because she moved us around to like different little locations. Um, the first location was okay, second was a bit worse, and then the last one was by far the worst, but yes. it was closest to the Highland Cows. I think I filmed them. It was closest to the Highland Cows and it was also right as the sun went down, so it's like prime, prime mosquito time. Yeah, and we were walking in like the vegetation. Yeah. And that's where they were all like sitting in, so it was, yeah, if you yeah. disturb that, then they're all gonna fly away. Yeah, I had so many twigs on my dress <laughs> by the end of it. I mean, I've been waiting to wear that dress for like eight months. Um, so I was fine with like walking around and it being, if it was getting dirty, it's getting dirty. Because I think I'm going to try, maybe and get Oma to shorten it for me so I can wear it again. And maybe even change the top of it with the material that's from the bottom. It's the great thing about his Oma, his gran, his seamstress. So you can literally just take fabric to her and she's like a wizard. With wizard. It. A wizard. But we are whizzing home to get to... Popika! Popika! We're dog sitting. We're dog sitting for the next two weeks. Oh, and um, bless him. She's all that Paul can think about during the engagement shoot. It's not, not about me or our wedding or our love. Just. No, I was thinking. I know. Choosing. I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. But she's used to staying in the house for like a full day by herself. So three hours, she'll be fine. But we're going to take her out and walk now. But I just wanted to kind of finish update you guys before the sun went down so that you guys could actually see us. Um, I'll probably show you the dog when we get back. Um, but it's been really nice to do a vlog again. I haven't really had anything to vlog over the last few weeks and I was gearing myself up to do a lot of vlogging these two weeks because it was supposed to be in Scotland and all of the wedding stuff so I was like, I know I filmed some of the sunset, it's beautiful. I was convinced like I would have a vlog every day and then obviously the trip got cancelled and we're not there. Um, but we are maybe going to go to Kinderdijk later on this week which is like a Dutch kind of tourist location with some windmills and stuff so we'll see. So this is the cute little doggy that we are dog sitting for. Her name is Popika which um, is because the vet who is her owner, her partner is Portuguese and apparently that's how she would say popcorn. It's not how you say popcorn. Popcorn is a different word, but yeah. Her name is Popica or Pika. And she's very, very, very good girl. Yes, you are. Such a good girl. Cutie. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I am going to take this makeup off and get in some pajamas and maybe have something to eat because I'm actually kind of hungry. We had a very early dinner. Um, but yeah, it's been nice. This is probably quite a short vlog, but it was nice to get the camera out and document something. And huge thank you to Inga for the photos. I will link all of her details below in the description box because she was amazing. So if you are in the Netherlands, she also travels. She said that she's actually, um, she's eloping to Scotland for her wedding next year and she's also done photography in Scotland too so you know go give her a, a little look because she really was incredible but as always guys thumbs up subscribe below and I'll see you next time make a video